Hello everyone, this is Emerald Lupin and I'm back with Hand of Fate 2. Uh, I'm probably going to end up cutting out some of this, but... I'm trying to get a card in the... You know, last time I got the token for Market Thief, finally, which gave me Pickpocket. So now I'm going to work on that. Because I need something off the token for that. And, well, you'll see. It is your choice. You can use the weapons you have, or you can attempt to be worthy of this one. No. No. Leave. You leave the soldiers to their fate. General Storm. Careful. Your supplies are running low. Anything new? No. Leave. I understand your beginnings were humble. Even so, I'd hoped for better. I'd hope... I would prefer not dealing with this card at all, trust me. You meet Merrick at the square, as he instructed. He gestures to a carpet seller at the bazaar. The Reeve, he explains. Watch and listen. What's a Reeve? Seriously, what's a Reeve? Anybody know? Put it in the comments. If the Lord got wind you were short on your taxes, there would be trouble, says the Reeve. Mind you, I do like this rug. Better you hand that over than all your stock. What do you say? I'm not... And that's a rare masterpiece from the Eastern Belt, says the flustered rug merchant. You're a bully. As the altercation continues, you notice the Reeve's pouch hanging open. See if... So you see it then, Merrick says with a grin. You know, it's only really stealing if you get caught. Steal. That's the spirit, he says. Now remember, the trick is to know when to stop. But if you are not any good, you won't need to. Got no one to hold him. You move behind the Reeve while pretending to admire the carpets on display. As he continues to haggle, you slide your hand into his pouch. <laughs> you draw an item from the Reef's pouch. Steal more. Draw an item from the Reeve's pouch. Steal more. <sighs> Steal more. Let's focus. I can't believe I got that all in one! You lift the last of the Reeve's gold from his pouch. He struts away with a with a rare carpet from the Eastern Belt rolled under his arm, none the wiser. Return to Merrick. No, do not keep all the gold. You will not get the token. Three, ten, eighteen, twenty-one. The thief's eyes glint at the sight of the gold. We will make a thief of you yet! He says as he plucks his share from your hands. Think of it as an investment. Meet me at noon in two days outside the city. We can talk more then. With that, Merrick disappears back into the crowd. You lose ten gold. Whew, that was shockingly easy. With four chance card gambits, with odds like that, I figured it would be horrible. Ooh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's get killed by a bunch of corrupted...
Shame on you, idiots. Hit me. magical zombies. <clears throat> <laughs> Fallen once more. Fortunately, this is but the lesser game, and we can try again. Joke's on you. I intended to do that. For successfully stealing all of the Reeves' gold, we get Caravan Robbery. Yeah, another card. Okay, let's do that again. Well done. You continue to impress. on the first map. Robbing caravans. Ugh. Da -da -da. No store. Leave. At least the go. usurper put up the illusion of honor. It's hard to tell if you even have an inkling of the same concerns. You find Merrick sitting in the shade of a, precari of a precarious boulder at the edge of a ravine. Just in time, he says, standing up and dusting off his hands. A procession of trade caravans and carriages makes its way to the great city, carrying wares from distant lands. You crawl to the edge of the ravine and peer over the crest. Ambush the traitors! 
I'm not normally one to create a scene, but time is of the essence. You must find the caravan of a particular cartographer, Merrick explains. Among his possessions is a map of the Great Sands. Find it for me. If you happen upon anything else of value, you can keep it. Just bring me that map. Bring me the lamp. Discount Aladdin. With a great heave, you dislodge a large boulder, sending it crashing down the slope to block the carriage's path. The driver of the first carriage sounds an alarm, blowing a great horn in, in an attempt to notify any patrolling Empire guards. Blowing a horn, bleh, the sound echoes through the gorge. With the rest of the procession in disarray, you quickly descend into the valley and approach the first caravan. Here we see yet another wheel. Each different, yet each bearing their own similarities. Whew. Got it! Amidst the chaos, you find the wagon that Merrick has described. As the cartographer attempts to temper the horses, you sneak aboard and rifle through his papers and parchments. Tucked under a bottle of ale and a glittering silver ornament, you find it. You find it. The map of the Great Sands! You swing the sack over your shoulder and exit the carriage. Leave with your spoils and return to Merrick. The merchants, are, the merchants, still reeling from the shock of your ambush, and with Imperial soldiers fast approaching, you make your escape. Away from the chaos, you check your spoils before continuing on your journey. You find Merrick waiting where you left him. His eyes grow wide at the sight of the map, and with a flourish, it disappears beneath his cloak. Tell no one of this, he says with a smile. Meet me at the edge of the sands in three nights' time. Whew! Wow. That was quick. Okay, now I need to find a way to end this. Mm -hmm, what time is it? Ready the weapon. Yeah, ready the weapon. Uh-huh. Right. Right. I'm totally gonna put up a fight here. Come on, guys. Hit. Thank you. More. Are you confused because I'm not fighting back? That's it. Keep hitting me in the back. And the front, and the side, and everywhere. Come on. Come on. Hey, free target practice. He doesn't miss. Didn't. Come on, one or two more. Thank you. One more. One of you, please help. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Wow, well, this this will end up being a short video. Every failure in combat can be balanced by success on the table. Oh no. For raiding the caravans, we get Desert Trek. This, this is the card you need to beat the Devil Challenge. I know there's a token attached to it, but that doesn't matter. You need Desert Trek. This is what I needed. Ugh. All that work, although I got really lucky with the other two. I really did. So that's that. I'll be able to do... Well, I'll have a better 
I'll be able to actually potentially beat the Devil Challenge next time. I may still fail at it, but at least I can actually get to Estrella. You know, I'll be, and I'll be putting real effort into beating it the next time. Anyway. This has been Emma Lupin with a so much, a rather short play of Hand of Fate 2. Remember, if you like this video, please remember to do things like press that like button, leave a comment, and tell me how I'm doing, or congratulate me on getting through this so quickly. Um, uh, consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already, or just sharing this with your friends on social media. Every little bit helps, and you can also check out some of my other playlists, and I'll see you guys next time with more Hand of Fate 2. Bye! Thank you.